Welcome. In some previous videos, I set up some virtual machines on a QNAP NAS. I'll put a link in the description of my QNAP playlist. I'll also put a link to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I want to take a look at this assigned to QVM here feature. And I have this enabled on Ubuntu desktop and Ubuntu server, but I don't have it enabled on Ubuntu clone. So if we look at Ubuntu desktop, you'll see this little icon here and it says remove QVM. If we look at the server, we'll see remove QVM. And if you see this one, it says assigned to QVM. So the top two are set up with, for QVM and the bottom isn't. So what QVM allows you to do is connect to these using the HDMI port of the actual QNAP NAS. So in order to use this, you need to have the hybrid station set up, which is in my playlist. So I'm going to switch to a screen capture of the QNAP NAS and we'll take a look at what this looks like. Okay, so I'm connected up to the NAS right now. I have a monitor plugged into it and I have a keyboard and mouse plugged in. So you see I move my mouse, the mouse moves on the screen. And you see we have QTS and we have Ubuntu desktop and Ubuntu server. I had a bunch of other apps on here. I took them off to make this a little cleaner. But uh, neither of these are open right now, Ubuntu desktop or Ubuntu server. So I'll open up Ubuntu desktop. I'll just double click on that. It's going to ask me for my password. And now it's going to boot Ubuntu. Okay, so now you see the regular login screen. And now we're logged in. So this isn't going to be the fastest computer you've ever used, but it does work. Um, I don't know if you'd want to use this every day, but if on occasion you need to log into a system like this, say you had some specific Linux desktop stuff, or maybe you have something in Windows 98, you could put a virtual machine on here and you could access it through this interface. So we'll click on the Firefox browser here and we can look at the performance of it. So here's a water slide video so you can see some action. I'll make this full screen. But you can see it's taken a while to load. So you can see it's not the smoothest video, but it does kind of work. So you're not going to watch a movie like that, but if you had to watch a short video, um, you could probably put up with that. This does also work at different screen resolutions. If I click the bottom here and I click on all apps and go to settings, then I click on displays. You can just change the resolution here. And I did try this at 1080p and it does work. So. It switches the screen resolution and it's full screen on my 1080p monitor. I'm using a, um, viewing it currently at 720p on a 1080p monitor. Um, if you don't need 1080p, it's probably faster to run at 720p. I haven't really tested it, but, um, you know, this is certainly usable for, you know, short periods of time. I don't know that you'd want to make this your desktop every day, but um, if that's something you want to do, you could try it. So, so that's uh, what the QVM is on the virtualization station. So then if we want to exit this, you just put your mouse at the top and click leave full screen and then click the icon in the upper right and it says, do you want to close this session? I'll click OK. Now the virtual machine is up and running now. So if I click on it again, it's going to ask me for the password to log into it. And here we're logged in again. So aside from shutting it down by holding your mouse towards the top, you can just go and shut the instance down, just like you would a computer. I'm saying power off, but it's only powering off the virtual machine. It'll pop us right back into the uh, menu here, and you can see it's not online anymore. So that's what the QVM is in the virtualization station. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.